Hey there, it's Paul Mark again, and uh, welcome to my house one more time. We're doing this uh, ongoing series of how to become a coffee connoisseur. And today we're gonna talk about brewing on the simplest, probably one of the simplest methods of brewing, and that's your drip brewer. Today we're featuring the Technivor, Technivor Mocha Master. It's a, a brewer that's manufactured in the Netherlands, uh, and we sell it for one reason and one reason only, and that because it works. It, it gets water hot and it brews fast, and uh, that's actually pretty hard to find in the in the realm of home drip brewers. And there's only a, two or three on the market that actually get the water up to proper brewing temperature which is about 200 degrees Fahrenheit or about 92, 93 degrees Celsius. And that's critically important for reasons that we've already talked about. So let's, let's, get, let's get going. I'm assuming that you're like me and in the mornings you just want to get up and you want to make some coffee and sort of forget about it, get on with your day, come back and drink it when it's done. And so that's what I'm going to do today. We're just going to do a basic brewing uh, sort of guide today. Uh, we will be filming and more advanced brew techniques on the Technivorm, uh, but that requires a lot more of your personal involvement and we're, we're making an assumption at this point that, that you're just wanting great tasting coffee in the morning without too much work or fuss. So, as we've said before, first thing to do is start off with fresh coffee. I'm using the Michiti, which is our Ethiopian coffee. It's a really, it's a really tasty coffee and I'm enjoying it immensely. And uh, so this is what we're gonna, we're gonna do. Fresh coffee, grind it fresh before you brew. Remember the magic formula in terms of ratios, 60 grams of coffee to one liter of water for drip brewing. So I'm going to measure out 45 grams of coffee here. Again, a reason to have your kitchen scale so you can pre-weigh this out. Throw it in your grinder. And when you're ready to grind, away you go. All right. Obviously, as I said, I'm, I'm going to brew today, 40, I use 45 grams of coffee because I'm going to brew three quarters of a liter. I'm not going to brew a full pot today. So as I've said in the past, filtered water is really important, uh, whether it's a Brita or I've got a carbon system here. Some form of filtration is, is pretty good because we're wanting to reduce the total dissolved solids in the water. Unless, of course, you live on the coast where you don't have enough solids in your water and then you're, you have an opposite problem. But regardless, filter water is typically good. We need a little bit of uh, Jeopardy theme music going on while I was waiting for the water to brew or pour. All right, so fill your fill the water reservoir up. Now I use the the carafe, which some of you may question, but one of the added perks I think of using a carafe to fill your water reservoir is it forces you to keep this thing clean. Uh, I've seen a lot of these that get so dirty because of the oil residue in your in your carafe from the coffee oil. So it forces you to keep this clean so that you don't end up with dirty water in your water water reservoir. Brew through lid. Every carafe comes with one right now. It's a great little added bonus. All right. Next, before we start brewing, is I'm using a paper filter number four. Uh, you don't have to use paper, but I do that. But one of the things I recommend, and I think most people recommend, is to pre-rinse your filter. So rinse that, there's a lot of, there's a lot of paper dust and, and uh, residual product from the manufacturing that you just want to get rid of, pre-wet the filter, hot water is best, and we're good to go. All right, pre-grind the coffee. Grinders are so loud. All right, coffee goes in here. A medium grind, maybe a little bit coarse on the medium side uh, for best for the best results with this brewer, and turn it on. Now, when I was in Europe, actually this summer, I had an opportunity for the first time to actually experience a Technivorm where they were made and in the market they were made for, and that's a European market that has higher power source, obviously, than, than North, the North American market. And what I discovered when I was there in Norway at the apartment I was renting is that that added power made for a much more violent distribution of water coming out of that brew arm. Uh, and in North America, obviously, the, the power is halved. And so that's not, 
available. So as a result of that, what we recommend is that you leave the brew valve, the brew, the, the brew basket shut for about the first 30 seconds of the brew. Take a spoon, give it a good stir. This pre-wets all the coffee, make sure that it's all wet. You got, you'll get better extraction, better flavor. After about 30 seconds, open the brew basket up, put the lid back on, and you're essentially done. Obviously, don't forget to flip that little switch here on the brew basket and open it back up. Otherwise, you're going to have a mess as the coffee overflows. But apart from that, that's really all that's involved. It's a very simple, but not just simple, a really great way to make coffee in the mornings. It's easy. It doesn't require a lot of your thought or input. And at the end of the day, what you get is a great tasting cup of coffee. And that's really all we're after. Uh, so I think that's it. Uh, we'll just, we're just going to wait the extra three minutes here until this is done. But until next time, drink less more often. Cheers.